Good morning. Someone asked the other day whether I had any videos out regarding uh, matrix operations. Uh, a bunch. Uh, I'm going to keep this pretty succinct and let you know that matrices are promoted um, in engineering uh, from day one, basically. Uh, but they are here for many, many different reasons, but primarily for vector work. And this is the one thing, the vector work, the one thing I would say that the TI-83 does not do well is taking a determinant of this operation, the determinant of the cross product of something like 5 feet and 8 feet and maybe 10 feet. That's an x, y, z vector and maybe 20 pounds and 50 pounds and 30 pounds. This is a vector, this is a vector, and when we need to do a cross product, we stack them up under the I, J, K. This is the one thing that the TI-83 does not do. TI does not do. It does not deal with symbology here in the front. So whereas if you want to multiply two vectors together in the TI, TI calculator, you multiply the lists or the, the matrices, the vectors together, it will give you the work product, which is 100 plus 400 plus 300, which would be 800 foot-pounds of work. But it will not give you I minus I, J minus J, and K minus K. It will not do that. So what sh this is the one thing that you need to basically write a program. And the program is pretty easy. Or find a program. And there are some available for download from, um, from myself. So I would recommend that you actually write the program to do this. This simple operation, that um, simple operation I, is the reason why I kind of show down here in the bottom in this kind of tutorial Wolfram Alpha because it does it quite nicely. Wolfram has no problem doing this. So I'm going to go ahead and just see if I can erase this now. Uh, working pretty nice. Erase this off. So it doesn't do that. So. We'll erase all that out. So now we're going to go basically into what it does do, which is pretty much everything else. And I'll leave this first one to basically how to hit the program, where these things are stored. Sorry about all those. Just won't do that again, huh? All right, a couple more times. I'm using it at this point. Okay, the beeping's almost over. I am using a bamboo pen interface in the center. On the left I have a TI emulator. Right over there is a TI emulator. That is PowerPoint for writing and down here I have just to remind you you can do all this in Wolfram, Mathematica and Ruby as well. I have that down along the bottom. So what are the basic matrix operations you want to do? Probably first and foremost is the, doing a determinant. So one thing things you want to do is you want to learn to do a determinant. Determinant of a square matrix. The second one is to do an inverse. The third one is to transpose. And I will point out that the best place to go for this explanation is to www. Khan Academy org or to your instructor in your textbook. All right. First, how do you get matrices in? I'm going to go the simple way here, or not the simple way, the way I think many people learn it in class. It is probably not the best way. The best way to go about doing matrices, and I'll do that in a separate video, is to augment a bunch of lists because usually a lot of what you're getting is you're getting information you know one vector at a time so 3x 
3i plus 5j plus 6k. That's best to put in by opening up a list, 3, comma, 5, comma, 6, close list, and stow into your variable, which has to be a list variable, so something like list 1. All right. So that's the best way to do it, and then you actually do list to matrix to do that. But that said, let me now go through the calculator and show you that process. So taking um, three lists, inputting them, and uh, then making a matrix out of them. So you have to turn on your calculator. And you have to remember that there are list operations here, second list. That's where you get a lot of your list and math operations. You should be familiar with that. And second matrix is where you actually get some both some mathematics and some matrix operation stuff. And I'm going to be a little bit scared about using the wrong matrix here because um, this calculator, I guess if I don't save it, I'm fine. Now, this calculator is stacked with a lot of pre-used matrices, which is just bad programming on my part. All right, so that's where you can get at them. Um, realistically, you want to learn to do this for lists, however. I'm going to go ahead and um, put in two matrices, which I'll write out over here. I'm going to put in a matrix here, which is, or three matrices. One, one list, I'm sorry, is going to be one, seven, nine. The next one is going to be 15, six, and 47. The next one is going to be 83 uh, minus nine. And these can be real numbers and 104. Now, when you look at them this way, they can be just anything. The way we stack them here going across, one, two, three would be very often if we're going to be doing a multiplication. If, in fact, we were going to deal with that, another way we would have to transpose it. So I'm going to show you what this matrix looks like as it is, and then as we transpose it, and then eventually just put a one stack along the bottom. So how do you go about doing that? Probably the easiest way, realistically, if you've got serious matrices, uh, besides the editor, and it's the most transferable, is to do this and close them in squiggles. So I'm going to do 1, comma, 7, comma, 9, close squiggles, which is a second here. I'm going to stow it into second list 1. That put that into list 1, and now I'm going to do open squiggles. 15, to go back here, 15, comma, 6, comma, 47, second, close squiggles, stow it into second, list 2. And then finally, third one, second, squiggles, 83, comma, minus 9. Remember, you have to use the minus here in a calculator. You can't use the subtract. Comma, 1, 0, oh, 4. Close squiggles. Now what you have is three lists. How do you get them into matrix? And I'm going to look at what matrix I want. They are now stored. You can see them. Second list 1. Second list 2 and second list three. I will point out that you use a lot of lists and I never did. You checked it, you noticed I did not put things into list three correctly. I have list one, list two, and I have to do list three again. So I don't know what I did wrong, but we'll try it again. Second squiggle, 83, comma, minus nine, comma, 104, second, close squiggle, stow into second list three. And now when I do second list three, I get what I wanted. So like my, even in CAD calculator stuff is you need to check. All right, I now have those lists. How do I put them in a matrix? You start to realize that almost all of your matrix operations are right here. I'm sorry, second matrix they're all here the editing functions are there the math functions are there 
However, there is one really important one, which is here. It is the inverse. The inverse is not stored where you think. It is the standard inverse on a calculator, the 1 over, which means the same thing because it's the number that you multiply another number by to get 1, or the matrix that you multiply another matrix by to get the, the unity matrix. So if you look at here, I'm going to put these for now into matrix F. The receiving matrix in this case does not have to be the same. It will overwrite. So what am I going to do? I'm going to hit second. Matrix, second, matrix, and go to the math and look for this. It is the list to matrix function. List to matrix function in the matrix. I'm going to now hey, see second list one, comma, second list two, comma, second list three. And the last thing I'm going to put in here is second matrix, and I'm going to put it in my F matrix. I close the parentheses, hit the return. Now your second matrix F. is exactly what we put in. All right, I'm going to now show you how you get first the determinant. Again, it was not work when there's symbology. To get the determinant, second matrix, you grab the matrix and you must pull it down. You can't key in these things. You have to pull them down. Second matrix, second matrix, math. I had did that wrong. You've got to do the determinant first. So I'm going to go back here, determinant, second matrix, F, and in this calculator you can go back now, delete, you're good to go, close parentheses, you don't need to close them, but you should, it gives you the determinant of the, calc of the, of the, of the matrix, so that's where you get the determinant. The next thing you might want to do at some point is to transpose them. How do you do the transpose? Well, you check what your matrix operations are, and in this case, T is put in after you put in the matrix. So you go second matrix, go to the matrix, which is the F matrix, and then you go to the transpose, and that error type quit. Try that again. Second matrix F, second matrix math transpose it transpose it I'm going to transpose it back second matrix F and it actually when I did this I don't need to transpose it back because I did not store it I'll just show you that it'll do it it's going to show it to you again second matrix very often what you're going to do is I'm going to now transpose this and you're going to very often it's a good idea to hit second matrix stick it someplace else so I can put it for instance into the E and it does it so that's the transpose the final one I'll give you and that's all the operations you need how you use them later on we use them much more extensively we are typically working in a 4 by 4 transformation matrix and we are doing matrix multiplication. So I, now I have F and E, so I have the transpose of F into E right now, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the inverse of F into E. So I'm going to take second matrix F, and the inverse I'm going to get literally, it's right there. It's scary how that hides like that. I'm going to put that into E, so stole it into second matrix E. And now E is the inverse of F, which means if I do second matrix F, and you do not need to hit the multiplication now, times second matrix E, I will get what's called the unity matrix like that. And very often that will have some very small kind of numbers that are based on rounding, but you will get the unity matrix. That is all the matrix operations. I will put some other ones out, but that covers the three. I will cover then how to go about and use some of this in operations, especially with uh, uh, a 4 by 4 transformation and multiplication. Thanks for listening.